Hi, I'm Ann McKinnell. Thanks for joining in. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an abstract or impressionist kind of image using the motion blur filter in Photoshop. So I'm going to start with this uh, boring and rather busy image I made in a forest. So the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate this background layer by dragging it down onto this new layer icon. Uh, I do this because I like to preserve this background layer in case I want to go back. So I'm going to rename the new layer Motion Blur. Okay, so I'm going to select the filter menu, Blur, and then Motion Blur. Then this window pops up here and this allows me to select the direction of the blur so I, I could change it to be horizontal if I wanted to, but I want the blur to go in the same direction as the trees, so I'll make that 90 degrees, and I've selected the most blur, and you can change that to be whatever you want it to be for your taste. So I'm choosing the maximum, and I'll say OK. Now, what I want to show you is that while this mimics a panning technique that you could do in camera, I find I can always tell when someone has done this in Photoshop because the edges of the image don't look right. So I'm going to zoom in to 100% here to show you what I mean. So here's the middle of the image and it has a pretty even blur. But when I go down to the bottom of the image, all of a sudden that blur isn't so even anymore and you can really see some distinct lines. So I'll zoom back out again, and what I'm going to do is simply crop that out. So I'm using the crop tool, and I'm just going to go like this and crop out the edges of the image. Like that. Now while I'm here, I think that I'll add some contrast fair bit of contrast actually. Lower the brightness a little. And maybe a little bit of levels. Like that. Much better. I think that's much more interesting. So another thing that you can do here to add a little bit of a twist to it is to reveal one of these trees in its original non-blurred form. So what I'm going to do is create a layer mask and that is going to define which part of the image I want to have the blur effect and which part I don't want to have the blur effect. So all I do to add the layer mask is click this icon here. And everything that is white in the, in the layer mask will show the effect. And if I want to take the effect out, I simply paint it black. So I'm going to select my paintbrush, make my foreground color black, and I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to increase the size of the brush a bit here, and I'm going to go ahead and erase this tree. Now you can probably see I'm going over the edges of the tree a little bit here, but I'll fix that in a minute. Sometimes with the blur it's a little bit hard to tell where the edge of the tree is, so I'm just going to go over it a little bit to make sure I've included the whole tree. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, the white part reveals the effect and the black part hides the effect. So what I'm going to do is switch to white and fix these edges where I went over the, over the edge of the tree. So switch to white. I'm going to zoom in a bit so I can see this better and reduce the size of my brush. Not quite that much. Say a hundred here. And I'm just going to fix these edges. And essentially I'm painting the effect back in where I went over the lines. 
you might be able to to hear my pen tool here I'm not actually using a mouse to do this this is using this technique is one of the reasons I love my Wacom pen tablet because it makes it so much easier to make these fine selections than it is when you try to do it using a mouse so I'm just going to keep brushing this effect back into the edges There. And I'll zoom out again. And there's our final image. Well, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.